Until the 1800s, shoemaking was a cottage industry. Shoes were made locally for local consumption. In fact, up to 1850, all shoes were made with practically the same hand tools that were used in Egypt as early as the 14th century BC, as a part of the sandal maker's equipment. It was during the mid-1800s that innovators such as Howe, Blake, and McKay invented rolling and sewing machines that revolutionized the industry and made it possible to mass-produce shoes to meet the growing demand created in part by the Civil War. As the industry grew, the local cobblers disappeared. People purchased fa the factory shoes, which were less expensive because they were mass-produced and the industry continued to grow. In 1917, Goodyear Tire Company introduced vulcanized rubber to the shoe industry and the soft-soled shoe and sneaker was born. The industry thrived in Maine and America until 1968, then rapidly declined. Nike was one of the first in the industry to shift manufacturing offshore, closing down its last U.S. factory in Saco, Maine in 1984. Dexter Shoe Company remained until the mid-1990s. Only New Balance, since 1982, operates large factories in Maine today. Now, check out your next clue in the link posted in the description.